And so, in the end, Mario went back home and found this guy living in his house for some reason. <laughs> and some, and some, for some reason, all the Red Bull was gone. Huh. Wonder I wonder where it could have gone. So, you got 999 coins, did you? Well, you used it to clean up the furniture. That's a great story, Mario. But you forgot the Red Bull. Oh! <laughs> And thus we wasted I... 20 hours of our lives. <laughs> hey, 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 you hey, had not what? 20 hours. This playlist, this playthrough was only... 11. <laughs> 11 and a half hours of your guys' It took lives. you 11 hours to go to the grocery store, and then you come back, and you didn't even bring the thing I sent you there in the first place. You had one job, Mario. <laughs> one <laughs> job. One Job, Mario. <laughs> well, you see, the princess got kidnapped again. <laughs> well, and she gets, ki she gets kidnapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah tell me what else no. is fucking new. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't find one single can of Red Bull in all those blocks you broke along the way. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you think just by law of averages you would have. You don't have enough time to get me the Red Bull. But don't you have you enough have time to hidden... fatten your wallet. I don't see how it is now, Mario. <laughs> don't you have some of Red Bull hidden in your secret basement compartment that I'm not How do you know about that? I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, fine, I'm moving out on my own. <laughs> I'll have my much bigger house with my more money. <laughs> oh, the mailman is doing his job again. Well, what else would he do? Run around in circles around Hyrule Castle. Game, sitting around doing nothing. Run around in circles around Hyrule Castle. Oh, he's a Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> I'm assuming this 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 whole ending epilogue is about how the mailman has to go back to work because Mario isn't RPG anymore, so he can't be relied on for side quests. No, he's just delivering invitations to the end of the game party. Uh oh. Oh, you're still alive. All right. Kind of assumes you have gotten yourself killed by now. Well, considering that he has a t uh, he has a ha bad habit of running himself face first into bosses, you know, I guess that I guess you would that's a good assumption. So is Perry the only mailman in the world? No, there's that other guy who sits behind the counter in the mail office and doesn't do anything. No, he's the mail sorter. This is the mailman. <laughs> well, I guess so. I'm surprised he hasn't gone disgruntled yet and uh, tried to kill half the Koopa race. Well, actually, that would make his actions in this game make a whole lot more sense now that I think <laughs> about it. Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. But no one likes the princess. She's also throwing a party. Ryan will go in, say hi, be polite, eat some of their snacks, and then go home. And then he comes back from the party to find out the professor is dead. Well, that's what... No, he's going back to make his wife happy. Because <laughs> getting yelled at at your wife is funny because <laughs> comedy. <laughs> Though, actually, I don't think that that part's funny. It's more funny. I think that's what these two assistants are doing that's actually funny. Absolutely nothing. No, they're just like, um, okay then. Let's go back <laughs> to the car. Well, let's go get some Chick-fil-A. Oh, damn it, it's Sunday. I it better be the Red Bull uh, delivery. Mario is the fucking debt collector again. <laughs> uh, 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 I, I don't have any money. Don't ignore him, you got the fucking coin. Pay him already. No, 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 no. Oh, it's, I, always, I it's always a freaking letter for you. Nothing ever comes for me. Oh, great. We're invited. All I ever get is tons of favors with Hi, I'm Daisy on it. <laughs> I don't even know this Daisy. This is the letter that invites Mario to the Star Festival party. <laughs> we all know how that goes. <laughs> what is Luigi oh, you... just crashing? You replaced Twink that fast, did you? Well, Peach? I can't get my drinks anywhere else because someone didn't go to the supermarket. <laughs> the supermarket is right here. How the fuck did you end up getting lost for 11 hours? <laughs> Only you, Mario. Only you. <laughs> Do you I'll even know how to read the map? <laughs> I'll go get it myself then, since you're useless. Sp hey, would you happen to spot me 999 coins? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably why. No, that's why he can't buy the Red Bull. It's a thousand coins for one can. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. 
<laughs> and my wallet won't hold 1,000 coins. <laughs> her royal uselessness herself, Princess Peach. <laughs> now this is actually one of my favorite arrangements of the Mario victory thing theme. Mostly just because it's a little bit more bombastic than usual. And Jesus, she just wants to come return to the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, it'll probably last a week, maybe. If we're lucky. Possibly. <laughs> so it what? Depends on the, how... kingdom, the kingdom has one of those sizes that says this kingdom has gone uh, <laughs> X amount of days without a kidnapping. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so what, do they just bribe Bowser with golf tournaments and, uh, and guard races just to keep the counter yeah. going a little bit longer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it goes over 50, they get a pizza party. <laughs> It's odd how the entire Mario universe is just a test of Bowser's self-control not to kidnap this bitch. <laughs> they told me if I dress up in this ridiculous outfit, I get the Red Bull. It's a worth it. <laughs> well, there goes the rest of my self-esteem. <laughs> I do still have a marching band. <laughs> Hey, Luigi's what? Marching Band still would still be a fun game. Or... Actually, that I remember. Wasn't Luigi head of a marching band in an RPG? Yep. So that's Paper He's Mario. He's just eager. <laughs> head of Nintendo's <laughs> fetish with me controlling marching bands. I don't even play an instrument. Is this stick thing an is this stick thing an instrument? No, How do Patrick. I play stick? No, Luigi. A stick is not an instrument. Horseradish isn't an instrument either. <laughs> Why isn't mayonnaise an instrument? Oh, now they're playing world music. Yeah. I like this game. I don't know what you. I don't. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I know that you guys don't like it as much as shortest I do. review ever. I mean, well, the thing, I know you guys don't like it as much as I do, because I have an unnecessarily large nostalgic connection to this one, because this is the first game I beat on my own, with no guides or anything. Well, I, I, I'm only like that because I haven't really taken the time out of my schedule to play the game. I you know, I, I as... came in the Paper Mario too late. Like, I, I uh, well, except for Thousand Year Door, which I played the fuck out of when I first got it. But well, Thousand uh, Year Door is one... much better on this game. Well, I mean, it's just... Well, the thing is that this game doesn't really do anything, like, terribly... Well, okay, the inventory system. But other than that, like, this game doesn't... Oh. Um, this game doesn't really do anything terribly wrong. Like, there's no real problems with it. It's just... It's just, like, if there was... If you took your standard Mario platformer and made it an RPG, that would be this game. And Evil I think there's... Evil Koopa Thero. <laughs> Wheeze and Tootin' Common. <laughs> So in my case, to go to play Thousand Year Door, and then trying to go back to this game, I can't really do it. Well, Thousand Year Door is just a little bit more complex than this game, in in better ways, I think. Because like the battle system is a, a lot more involved in that one, just due to like stylish moves and uh, the way timed that... hits. <laughs> Stylish moves. Timed hits. No, they're not the same thing as action commands. Stylish Timed moves. hits. Stylish. No, he's right. Stylish yeah, I know. I know. I'm just, I know. I'm just annoying him. Yeah. Every other game calls them that, so you're wrong, and I'm right. Yeah, Timed like, hits. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Is the road moving, or is that tree sliding to the left? I think. I think th I I'm not sure. Who cares? <laughs> we should take Mushroom Kingdom and push, push it somewhere else. else. <laughs> so is Patrick the mayor of Toad Town? <laughs> He's just won the election for Toad Town. He's just pushing the problem somewhere else. I know it's supposed to be a float, but there's no fucking wheels in that thing. Oh, they're just off screen. E. Ooh. This is the most. This is the oddest game of Peekaboo I've ever seen. <laughs> But that one doesn't have eyes. You're right, piranha plants don't have eyes. Again, it's weird how you never notice these things. It's just like, oh, huh. He's not even moving his legs for a second. I think both the, the I think the road is moving in one direction and the grass is moving in another. Parallax but the road scrolling. is still moving and these guys are staying still. Yeah. I think that I, yeah, I think that's just a graphics trick though. I'm not sure why they have it set up like that. 
I need Bildorf. What does he do? English text writer, it said. So what, Hi, did he just... Leslie Swan. So did he just, like, translate the entire game, or what? Yeah. How are you, Bill Trennan? Yeah. These credits are needlessly long. Eh, uh, well... They're not the longest. Did we ever see that guy during the game? I don't recall. <laughs> not ringing a bell. I see, that's a creative use of talent. <laughs> They're not chainsaws, though. <laughs> they would need to be chainsaws. Yes, for our, for our celebratory parade for beating Bowser, we're going to have Bowser parked in it. So yeah, that's a game. We will never see these seven again. Well, except for Mario Party 5. Beh. It counts. In the same way Ward has a cameo in Link's Awakening. Well, that's a completely different series. God damn, this parade goes on all fucking night. The problem is that everyone in the Toad Town was invited to be a part of the parade. Which left no one to watch the parade. <laughs> These poor assholes. They get their they get their moment in the sunshine, but it's at night when nobody's already fucking home and sleeping. No, like I said, the problem is everyone in Toad Town was invited to be part of the parade, which left no one to stay and watch the parade. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just marching around for no reason. <laughs> marching for not for no goddamn reason. So we're pretty much just getting a cast. Roll. See, you see Donkey Kong, this is how you do it. <laughs> you get the credits on the bottom side of the screen, and you get the enemies going up in the tops of the screen. Yeah. There's really no need for him guiding you. What is it, Casino? Yeah. Oh, tell me he's doing the thriller. Close enough. No. It's too sporadic. It's not even worth a Billy Jean. <laughs> so many shy guys doing nothing of value. Ryan, where did everybody go? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Dead, are you still here? No. Oh, I, oh, I'm muted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, ha I was saying funny things, too. Well, Damn, repeat it all now. Um, Glow in the well, dark I, rooms. I can't... Well, part of it was in time with the guy running and going, like, twitch, twitch, when he twitch, twitched. <laughs> and meanwhile, I wonder why nobody is acknowledging you. <laughs> I guess. Jazz hands, everybody. Jazz hands. He needs to be waving both. I only have enough coordination to one one at a time. Both? Okay. Hands? Hands. <laughs> and now Peach and Mario are going to leave because... Um, because Peach needs a chaperone home. She doesn't know the way back. <laughs> and, so, and, the Koop, and the Koopa clown car flies overhead and just snatches her. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's staying at your place tonight, Bowser. You have a toothbrush, right? <laughs> She has her own. She has her own room set up. <laughs> Happy festival fireworks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what you don't see is Luigi inside the house, passed out from all the drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, the light's still on, so yeah, prob that's probably what happened. He uh, stayed uh, away the in Margaritaville, <laughs> searching for my lost sacred of salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. yeah, this is this is the end. It, as soon as you nothing, <laughs> really, <laughs> well, it's not like there's no option to save or anything. You just have to turn off the console at this. Oh, uh, it's one of those games. games. Yeah, yeah. Which actually kind of sucks, considering that it's an RPG, and you might want to see what your in-game stats are. But whatever. Yeah, doesn't really matter anything to me.
Okay, well, next time we'll do Thousand Year Door. I swear. I Ooh, think you guys will be a little... Who's going to do that one? You. Me. I'm not letting you guys do that one. Mine. I want to Uh, that. well, what if I accidentally upload a part one of a Raw? No. Oh, never. <laughs> You know Ted well, can get on. You know I think, you know Ted think, can get on the raw channel as well and just delete it. Yeah, That's very true. But I, I I have the I have a backup. You get rid of the raw doesn't mean to get rid of the actual video. I could just upload it again. Elliot can be bought, John. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what his price is, but I'm sure there is one. Well. I believe the Thousand Year Door commentary will be a little more enthusiastic. Enthusiastic is the word because we've all played and beaten that game. Mm-hmm. So yeah, not the shit on this commentary, which I kind of did. Let's just end while we're kind of, sort of breaking even. I'm not going to say ahead because we're not at this point, but, but let's just end it, please.